You know, it is pretty cool when you can say you are one of the first in the world to check out a film, and here I am. Nonetheless, we're going to get into my review of this new short film that's coming out very soon, right now. What's up everybody and welcome back today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the short film Joe Riv. Now, this film, um, it's, it's an incredible privilege to check this film out this early. Like this film hasn't even hit the film festival circuit yet and I have an opportunity to check it out. Uh, so definitely keep your eyes peeled as it will be apparent at, as, of no, as I know now as of four to five different film festivals. So you will have your opportunity to check this out really soon. But what's really exciting about this is that this film is written and star written, produced and stars Daniel Riviere, who you may not have heard that name of before. But I'm pretty sure if you follow professional wrestling, you heard of Danny Limelight. And that's that's no other than him. Uh, this is his his new film. And I saw him promoting it on his uh, Twitter. And I was like, yo, I got to check that out. Like he's killing it in all of professional wrestling. He's on AEW, all top promotions you have seen him on. And the fact that he's transitioning into the 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 um the the big screen, which he's done other projects, but like nothing in this capacity. So the fact that he's transitioning into the big screen, I had to check this out to see what it was all about. But yeah, so it is written, it's produced, and it stars Daniel Riviera, aka Danny Limelight, and directed by Miko Sad. So um, the two of them who are friends obviously uh that's always good in the in the idea of filmmaking because when you have that type of chemistry then you usually put out really good things and the fact that they're, they're both passionate filmmakers was another level of intrigue here for me to check it out now here's the first thing i want to say now this film is not without flaw um a couple of things that jump out to me earlier in regards to flaws is i thought the cinematography could have been better considering that this is an action film that cinematography has to be crisp because you want that cinematic feel from it that way it heightens all the action and at times i felt like it was a little off and definitely could have been better and also i will say that the editing also could have been a little bit better too in some of the transitions within some of the sequences happening with the action but the things I did like. Now, there was without a doubt that I knew that this film, choreography, and stunts were going to be on point. Considering that Daniel, aka Danny Limelight, is a professional wrestler and he's about that action life, transitioning into this world might have been a small learning curve, but he had a really good advantage. And I knew when it came down to him being in charge of stunts, him being an action star this was going to be interesting and indeed it was uh the, the 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 fighting and the choreography was absolutely the bright spot in this film and you definitely want more of it and that's the issue with short films is because once you start watching you get invested into it then you want more it's like when you're binging a show and you have to wait week after week in order for something to come out and you're just like can i just have it all now so that's typically my little gripe with shorts but I am intrigued with this character, Joe Rib, that he plays. And Joe Rib is uh, who is a, an, an presumed to be uh, action operative who was killed. But now he has to return home because his sister was murdered at her nightclub. So he's out to seek vengeance. So that's the small premise of it. And I have to say, even still with, with that and by watching it now, I want to get this to be fleshed out to be a series because i really want to know well why how was he presumed to be dead or what what was the events that led to that point where has he been and his skill set you know he's an action operative but i want to know more about that and i think when you do a, 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 um, a series you got time to really flesh out the backstory and things going forward and there is things to talk about going forward but another couple of things i definitely want to give a shout out to is um the villains here damien damon smalls and willie smalls played by daniel masterson and nathan people they were really good and if in the moments where them two shared screen with um joe rib uh, daniel riviera the action was at its best that's where this film is sailed the choreography between the three of them really brought it at the um final sequence of this film 
and I thought they did really well. And unfortunately, you know, the story doesn't allow for much more of them, but I'm definitely digging what they were able to present. But considering that they were sons to uh, a small a small arm dealer in uh, Bobby and uh, excuse me Bobby Smalls, he's going to be seeking vengeance now that his sons were you know. So nonetheless, um, I, I I I like what this film was able to present. I think there's a lot of intrigue with the story. Um, there's things that they obviously can touch up on, but that's why short films do short films because one. Um, their budget doesn't allow for them to do stuff over the top, but when you're able to support, when they're able to get distribution um, and funding, then they can actually bring the project to life in a way that they really envision. But for this to be, for, for, for what it's worth, I appreciate this. Considering that this was filmed during a pandemic and they had this massive club scene and God knows how they had to bring that all together in order to do so, you know, hats off to them to getting this done because that's a huge challenge in its own. And again, I thought that um, Danny Limelight did a fantastic job as your lead uh, in regards to the choreography. And I think that the more and more he does this, the more and more he gets comfortable, then everything else is going to start following with the acting and uh, the delivery. I think that, you know, as an action star and, 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 you know, from speaking to him, I know that, you know, that's what his goal is to be. I think he's heading in the right direction considering that he has the action choreography part and the stunts part pretty pretty solid and definitely you know everyone has room to improve but this again is a really good head start here uh, but again you do it enough enough repetition that you get comfortable you get better and better so i think that's why it's intriguing to see where this film and this project can go and this character joe red because i think this is a good start for a short film a good little appetizer but like bring the entree on now let's see what this really could could, could be um, but yeah, and again, um, uh, Daniel and Nathan, I thought they did a fantastic job as your villains here. Their choreography was also really well. Um, again, I thought, um, you know, the cinematography could have been better. The sound mixing could have been better. Um, and the editing could have been better. But it is an independent film with a low budget. And I thought even still, it was um, entertaining and intriguing. And I definitely want to see where this goes beyond that. So again, folks, this is Joe Riv. Um, this, again, it will be making um, its world premiere at a few film festivals. So you definitely want to keep your eye out. You can follow Danny Limelight on his Twitter page. That way you can, um, you know, keep up with updates as to where you can see this. But when you do see it and definitely go out and support it, come back in the comments, folks, and let me know your thoughts about this film. And as always, folks, stay tuned because we got more reviews coming very soon. Thank you for watching, folks. Oh, and by the way, one character definitely pulls out the funniest line of all time. He comes out and hits a Michael Jai White surprise motherfucker, and I was I was dead. <laughs> I was so dead. <laughs> I can't believe he did that. <laughs> All right, folks, that'll do it. <laughs>